Hello everyone, and welcome to my first ever themed run of Fallout 4. So unlike a challenge run, there aren't super specific rules here, but we still do have a goal and rough guidelines I'm going to be trying to stick to. So it's like a challenge run, but less serious. So to start off, we're playing on easy mode, and by easy mode, I mean hard mode, because survival is the true hard mode of Fallout 4. If you've played Survival, or watched me play Survival, I think you know why I'm calling Hard Mode Easy Mode, because comparatively, oh yeah, it's so easy. Uh, Equipment-wise... Wait, have I said? This is the Robot Run. Robo Run, it's a robot lady. Our goal's gonna be, like, beating Automatron, the uh, robot DLC for this game, because that barely won out in the polls. So I'm gonna be trying to equip myself with robotic-style stuff. I've already decided I'll be not using any bang bang bullety guns, instead I'm just going to use energy weapons. And I figure if I craft something I can probably use it as well, because- oh I got a microscope! A microscope's a crazy good bit of junk to get early game. Uh, I figure like if I craft it that makes sense with a robot lady too. Uh, I've also called this lady Siri, because I think that's just going to be funny. <laughs> um, yeah, it's- a fairly simple themed run. If you have any suggestions for what stuff I should or shouldn't use equipment wise, let me know. I'll be focusing on energy weapons. Anything fairly mechanic y I'll work with as well, like melee based. I figure, um, whatchamacallit? Oh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, Pipe Wrench, that'll be an obvious one. And literally anything from the Automatron DLC, I'm good with. I'm not too certain what. I should go with the armor, like the vault suit and these glasses. That's that's a fine start, but we'll need to go from there. Um, do I want to talk to Codsworth? Yeah, you know what? Let's chat with Codsworth as our first thing, because unsurprisingly, Codsworth is going to be our main follower for this run. As I live and breathe, oh, it's it's really you. Codsworth, you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. But you will seem the worse for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is Sir, by the way? They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you'll need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my baby. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for 
certain you and your family were were dead. I I did find this hollow tape. I believed Sir was going to present it to you as a as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. There we go. Codsworth is now going to clear out the neighborhood for us. Um, for anyone who has not played Fallout 4 or doesn't know the main story, just a quick little summary. We've been frozen for 210 years, thereabouts. Uh, inside of a vault, which we came out of at the start of the game, I've skipped through the intro a bit because it's always the same, and my template saves are also at that point. But yeah, now our son's missing and our husband's been killed. Neither of that matters for this run, though. We're just going to build robots. Because <laughs> that's what happens when family members go missing. You build robots. It's a guaranteed recipe for success. Um, and because people will be asking, not Grognak, uh, but uh, da, 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 stats special. So this is my special. I'm getting one boost from my eyeglasses, but I've got six strength, one perception, seven endurance, one charisma, ten intelligence, one agility, and two luck. And I don't actually know where I want to put in Sean's special book, which is the one down here. So if anyone has suggestions for what I should do with the special book, let me know. Uh, and maybe we'll do that at, like, next episode sort of time. Wait, when am I recording next episode? Maybe at next episode sort of time. Maybe after. My recording schedule is a bit different this week, so I may or may not be recording early. Codsworth appears to have finished his search, so let's chat with him. Family isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't keep up, Mum. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. I like these people already. Oh, good. Maybe you'll get along then, and they can help you find young Sean. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Excellent, so yeah, we just get that done, and Codsworth is now gonna just chill here for a little bit. We need to go to Concord before he's willing to come with us, but I think first things first, I'm going to Loot Sanctuary. And because I'm not playing on survival mode, I don't have to worry about, like, getting disease or hungry while doing it, so I'm just gonna do a real, like, thorough initial looting of the place, so that I've got plenty of junk, and also, yeah, the odd item here and there which I can use like uh, whatever's in this safe, which should be nice and easy to crack open, as it's, yep, one of the only God. safes I'll be opening, and 10 millimeter. Mm. Like, I don't want to use a 10 mil pistol, but if I don't find anything suitable, I might use it until I get a good weapon, or until I get something that's better for the character. Oh, and I've not actually uncovered the workshop yet, which is why I went into third person for no reason. Uh, yeah, because obviously this is a fiend run, not a challenge run, so I can be a bit more blasé fair about it. Is blasé fair the right word? I don't know. I, I barely speak English, let alone other languages. Oh dear, we got our first little enemy here to fight, which is a rad roach. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. We're going to have a couple of rad roaches to fight here. And I think, is there one more over this way? No? We all good? I think that's it for Rad Roaches. Uh, I am just steadily scrapping down this entire place for every last bit of junk I can get my hands on, pretty much. I'm not doing like a 100% complete scrap of it, but anything I'm running across is getting scrapped. So that hopefully I won't have to do any more scrapping in the future and just have a huge amount of at least base components like wood, steel, rubber, a bit of ceramic as well, I recall. Oh, I've only got one more place left to scrap. And it's this one right here. And then it's time to go and probably fight some things, probably see what equipment I've got first to do the fighting with. Place is scrapped down, meaning I now have all of this junk. Just look at it all. This is beautiful, beautiful stuff. In fact, how much steel? Over a thousand steel and over a thousand wood. Excellent, that should sort me out. 
I also found a hat which I'm going to try on, because dress dressing up the player character is an important part of any Bethesda game. I mean, I like the ponytail. This does give me an intelligence boost, but I like the ponytail, so we're sticking with that. I'm going to do a quick bit of cooking, and I want to see... Here we go, make some rad roach. Excellent, and that levels me up. Oh, okay, this could be very useful. Because I want to see if I can make myself, like, some explosives, maybe? But that's probably going to take... I can make molotovs. Okay, maybe I just make a couple of molotovs, because, yeah, everything else requires demolition expert. And is it going to be the same with mines? Yeah. This character is not designed for demolition expert. Oh, I can make cutting fluid. That's good to know. Uh, I could get some caltrops as well. You know what? Caltrops are, like, really easy, so I think I'm going to craft a bunch of these... Uh, is that engineering or robot -y? Yeah, let's just say it's scrap from a workshop that I'm just going to have <laughs> a handful of to go with. And although I would like to make... Yeah, some explosives. Weapon crafting isn't so much a thing in Fallout 4. Like, you can do it with the add-ons, but yeah, it's just modifying standard stuff. And the same with the armor. Oh, because I can modify these, can't I? Oh, of course, I forget about that. But yeah, that's it's not going to be ready for me just yet. So maybe I should just use one of the uh, 10 millimeters for the time being. Yeah, I think I'm going to be sensible. Not waste too much time, just pick up a 10 millimeter, which annoyingly gets favorited. Just like automatically, you can't do, do anything about it and you have to deal with it for the entire game I sometimes find. But yeah, now we're just going to head over to uh, Concord, that's the name of it, I was struggling to remember it, I missed these bits, and um, shoot shoot the gun, that's the main thing. I'll also loot Red Rocket on the way, but uh, we're not going to be picking up dog meat, so I'll probably cut that out, because yeah, I can't stand all of us looking at dog meat and not actually having him follow us forever. First bit of combat, we'll just be taking out these bugs, which should be, yeah, nice and easy. Wow, I'm missing so many of the shots there, but doesn't matter. I, this is a themed run. This feels so easy. So easy compared to the normal, I'm doing a permadeath survival mode, no hard playthrough kind of thing. This is just like casual Fallout 4, which I appreciate. It's, it's nice to just play this game kind of casually, because I really like Fallout 4. And I had been waiting until the next-gen update before doing that, but seeing as that was announced then basically never happened, or hasn't happened yet, or had anything further mentioned about it. I mean, there's even been an announcement for like a remaster slash next-gen version of Outer Worlds before Fallout 4 has got one. It's ridiculous. So I figure it's time to hop back in, especially as I can... This is hard difficulty, I've got to remember that. Enemies are still quite tanky on hard. Oh, and... Okay, if this was survival, I'd already be dead by now. Uh, but hey, we're playing on easy mode, by which I mean hard mode. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of that this series. I can only apologise. Yeah, that's perfect. Get rid of you and you. Oh, and a laser musket. Hey, up here, yep. On the balcony. Perfect. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Laser musket is an energy weapon, so I say we use it as our next new thing. And boom, another level up. Having a ten intelligence is very helpful. Uh, I'm going to be over encumbered. Nope, not that soon. Actually, not going to be over encumbered that soon at all. See, this, it's still, the, 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 the hearting, fa yeah, favouriting with a 10 mil is weird. I'm going to loot the area and then fast travel back because I can fast travel as well. I apologise. For those of you who don't watch like a lot of my challenge runs, you'll be like, why is this guy getting excited about fast travelling? But I so often play on like survival mode and with no fast travel and stuff. But just being able to do these small things is quite exciting for me. Fast travel back and ditched all the junk. Now have the lovely laser musket, although not many rounds for it. Energy ammo is going to be a bit of a problem, 
but hopefully this will be fixed, because I think this is the earliest point where we can actually tell Codsworth, hey, we've been to Concord, wanna come with us now. Hey, Codsworth. Mum, welcome back, Mum. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. Yep, so you don't need to um, actually free the minute men, you just fight the people outside. I'm not even sure if you have to fight them. You might just be able to run in and then run away, but yeah. Um, there were some friendlies there. I've ignored them. Want to come with me? I came across a few people who didn't want to kill me. Not much else. That's unfortunate. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Come with me, Codsworth. Yes, of course. Lead the way, Mum. Perfect, and we now have a follower. And the most important thing to check is, look at it, it's it's favourited and you can't stop it. You can't stop it from being favourited. Or at least I can't. Uh, okay, we don't have a bowler hat. That's, that's something I'm going to need to keep an eye out for. Um, but you know what, I want it to be daytime. So I'm just going to build a bed and sleep until daytime, with zero consequences. Oh, this is nice. With me saying that I need to be worried about ammo, I figure I may as well get Scrounger. Make that an early perk, that just makes sense, you know. I'm not sure what other perks I should get right away, because stuff like Blacksmith and Armourer I want for upgrading robots eventually. I got Strong back as well, because the extra carrier weight could come in handy. Scrapper is real tempting early. I'm getting it. I'm getting Scrapper. None of you none of you stopped me. Why didn't you break into my apartment and stop me while I was recording this? Oh, you can't do anything about it now. Yeah, there's quite a lot of good perks I can go for here. So people have suggestions for what they think we'll go first. Or sh I should pick first, feel free to say. But this is, this is gonna be easy. Easy. There's nothing to worry about. Let's just crank this up and go through the Museum of Freedom. Immediately into caution, because I do only have... Um, one point of agility, isn't it? Yeah, I've got one point of agility, so stealth is really not an option for this character. Uh, are you gonna have a shotgun? Doesn't really matter, does it? Because I can just... Yeah, that's you as well. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Oh, man, I'm, I just can't help but think like, oh, if that had been in survival mode, I'd be dead already. But now, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. Um, I see... Okay, can I actually get you? Yes, I can. Lovely. Uh, no, Codsworth, everyone is not still alive. I just I just killed someone. By the very definition, people are not alive. Alright, let's pop down here and just do a quick bit of hacking in order to get that uh, fusion core. And I'm not going to worry at all about stealth, so I may as well just... Charge in. Codsworth doing a surprising nothing so far. <laughs> like, I specifically didn't go in here straight away because I wanted Codsworth to be around to back me up. But he's done nothing at present. Uh, fingers crossed he'll do something eventually. Maybe in the big fight at the end. Yeah, may maybe he's just saving his energy till then. Okay, there we go. Get their attention. Come through the door, buddies. Uh, oh, hey, okay, you actually are using cover. I forget that enemies in Fallout 4 do this. Like, Fallout 4 combat AI is much better than <laughs> I kind of expect it to be. Oh, Codsworth, why are you not... Oh, oh man, gun bash damage does a lot. Okay, that was... Well, that was easier than I expected. We did take some damage, though, so... That's something. Um, yeah, let's take that and that. And I'll do a quick little loot and then we'll speak to Preston, who will scream at me the entire time. Hey, Preston, my old pal. Man, I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Maybe? I'm just passing through. Fair enough. Nope. But the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? And those raiders want us all dead, including you. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. It's a cruel world. You think I don't know that? Nah, the things I've seen. 
the things I've done. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. God damn it. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Well, let's hear it. Sturgis, tell it. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun? <laughs> now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. I was kind of hoping there'd be some like special Codsworth yeah, dialogue there. But instead, he's going to complain about me picking up junk. Yeah, this is why I tend to go with Ray, uh, Ada, more than him. <laughs> Ada's fine with me picking up junk. You know, Codsworth. So, um, yeah, perception bubblehead. Easy grab. And I'm going to grab a bit of loot and then just head outside and ignore Mama Murphy, who I really want to shoot in the head. This character's meant to be a bit of a mechanical, engineery, scientisty lady. So I feel like Power Armor is a perfect fit, really. So we are going to be jumping right into it. Here we are, lovely stuff. And doing this fight in Power Armor with the minigun as well. Because I don't think I'll use a minigun as like a common piece of gear at all. But for oh, this here. fight, but it seems like it makes here. sense. And let's duck a you to death. Uh, and then do the looting, because I can't help myself. Oh, a screwdriver. Yeah, I've got to get that. Yeah, I'm gonna see. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Crystal actually gave some, like, interesting dialogue for once. Normally he's just like, ah, gurdy gurdy gur. But the not a lot of people can get past my boys. I, I appreciate that line. Something's out there. All right, <gasps> something's out there. Oh no! I wonder if it's something What's like it? more raiders and a death claw in a second too. Is the death claw actually going to spawn? Like I wanna, <laughs> I want it to spawn, but maybe I need to hop down before it's going to do it this time. It can spawn while you're still up there, but this should help everyone move things along. And considering how tough I am right now, I'm not too concerned. Like, I'm playing high endurance, I'm in power armor, I'm on hard mode. This is... yeah, this is nice and simple. And now... Hey, Mr. Deathclaw! You mind if I just repeatedly shoot you? Oh! I had a raider... oh my god, that raider got decimated. I'm gonna also throw down a bunch of caltrops. In the hopes that... Oh, oh no, I'm getting picked up. Alright, maybe I should, uh... Yeah, there we go, hit the Stimpak button. I was hoping that I'd be able to cripple the Deathclaw. Because I think yeah, if you cripple a Deathclaw's legs, you're fine. Um, can you guys... Yeah, stop focusing on me and please go for the giant Deathclaw instead. Oh, they're still not going for the giant death claw, and its belly is quite well protected a lot of the time. Oh, there we go, though. Now it's not. Let's crit it in the belly. Lovely. That does a lot of damage. 
Oh, and we've been picked up. Oh man, my next gen update would be so great. Because, like, the texture and stuff are a bit old in this game. Alright. Can we please? Oh, it just says Codsworth tolerates you all of a sudden. Oh dear, is Codsworth unhappy with me? Is this because I didn't pick him up? <laughs> that was going on here. Sorry, Codsworth, I'm fighting a literal death claw right now. Also, no press, not short controlled bursts. Continuous firepower. Alright, there we go. It says clear it of hostiles. Looks like we got one more person, and I must have leveled up because my health is full all of a sudden. Yeah, you. You were hiding. I'm not really. I normally just let the Death Claw pick apart the Raiders. But this time, it, yeah, I actually. I feel like I took about as much damage from the Raiders themselves as I did the uh, Death Claw, which is the big boss of the area. But hey, we'll just do a quick loot of this all. And then pop in and chat with Preston to wrap things up. Hey Preston, Deathclaw is defeated and Raiders are display. eradicated. I'm just glad you are on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said you were just passing through. Well, maybe this will help you reconsider. Ain't much, but it's the best we can do. And you've earned it. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. No, Mama Murphy, there's nothing more to my destiny. Um, are they going to start moving? No. Well, I'm just going to skip through her dialogue super me. fast, because I, like, I don't like prophecies and stuff in video games. I don't like them in media in general, but there we go. There we go. Get that done. And now we've got Jewel of a, Di Jewel of a Diamond City, Jewel of a Commonwealth, which tells me to go in Diamond City, is there as well. Uh, Codsworth appears to have just wandered off. No idea what he's doing, but cool. And that's it for the first episode of the Roboticist run, I think is what this will be called. Uh, oh, everyone's moving out now. They're going to Sanctuary, where we can head to next time. If anyone's got suggestions for, like, good early energy weapons, very helpful. I have a feeling I may end up helping Paladin dance soon. And, wow. Oh, Marcy, why are you so loud and annoying? Okay, I'm going to walk outside to do the final bit. Excellent. Marcy is no longer talking, so I can actually do an outro. Hey, and everyone's just wandering away. They'll make their way to Sanctuary. Yeah, if you've got anything you want to see me do in this run, let me know. If it's easy, I'll probably do it. If it's hard, eh, who knows? But yeah, that's going to be it. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on. And uh, if you definitely want to catch every episode, Discord and Twitter are linked in the description. I update on those. It's more reliable than YouTube. But as always, thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.